All right, so we're going to go over some of our properties for 1.4, okay? Let me go over properties for 1.4 real quick as well. Which one are the color of Um, I like the orange flavors a lot, or the, the red usually, are my go-tos. These yeah. are usually like strawberries. I just thought that. Do my ADHD go bad? Because uh, every time I do it, I'll always be in the red. I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, maybe I just have the right ears for it, I don't know. Are you eating my chocolate? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, properties of multiplication, we've seen a lot of these properties in addition, okay? They're, they're going to be very similar. Multiplicative identity, okay? Remember, additive identity, did it change what the number was? <coughs> that was where we added something to it and it didn't change what the number was, right? Multiplicative identity, the product multiplying of any number and one is equal to that number. So in symbols, A times one is equal to? A. A. Anything times one is itself, right? Oh. Okay? Wow. So very similar to like how we did have the additive identity, anything plus zero is itself. Multiplication, anything times one is itself. Now take note, you don't want to multiply by zero because what's anything times zero? Zero. Zero, zero. right, okay. So what's an example of this though? Seven. Seven times one is equal to? Seven. Seven, right? Doesn't matter what number we would have stated there first, it would have been the same the first and the last number, right? Okay, yeah. multiplicative property of zero. Hey, let's talk about this. The product of any number and zero is? Zero, every time, okay? If you have zero groups of something, or if you have so many groups of zero, you don't have any, okay? So in symbols, A times zero is equal to? Zero. Zero, okay? So what would be an example of this one? Somebody raise your hand to give me an example of this one, okay? Presley. Uh, zero. Multiplicative, zero. I think you're on this one. Two times what? Zero. Zero is equal to? Zero, right? Yeah. And then could Presley's even said 4,292.857? That's what I was going to say. It's going to be the exact number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Multiplicative inverse. Okay. Every number other than zero has a reciprocal. Do you guys remember what a reciprocal is? Okay. For a fraction, it's the flip version of the fraction, okay? Every other number, every number besides zero has a reciprocal. Oh, I remember now. The product of a number in its reciprocal is 1. What we're saying here is like a times 1 over a is equal to 1. Okay? So just like we have an additive inverse, the additive inverse was the negative of a number. The additive inverse was the negative of a number, okay? The multiplicative inverse is the reciprocal. Here's why it's the reciprocal, okay? This a is secretly a over what number? One. It's secretly over one. Anything's over one, okay? Because five divided by one is still five. A divided by one is still a. It's still the same number. So we take a over one, flip it. You might have heard that we flipped the cult before, okay? Is one over a now? You flipped it, okay? If we were to multiply this out, we multiply this left to right. A times one is a. One times a is a. What is a divided by itself? One. So see how that ends up working regardless of the number we choose. Okay? So somebody give me a number. Somebody give me any number. 72. 72. 72 times what will equal one? 72. 72. 72 times one specific number will equal one. One over 72. 72 times 1 over 72, okay? The reason this works, the reason this works is because you have 72, which is really 72 over 1, times 1 over 72. If we multiply straight across, 72 times 1 is 72. 1 times 72 is 72. What's 72 divided by itself? 1. See how that ends up working out? Every single time was a reciprocal. Work out every single time, always, and forever. Okay? Questions on that? Okay. We're actually going to um, end there, okay? Yeah. Darn. Aww. <laughs> Gosh, darn it. Yeah. Is that you wouldn't even be able to pass it out. Oh,
Fine for every person. Just kidding.